Well, Nigeria's headline inflation rate increased to 22.04% on a year-on-year -year basis in March, still maintaining the highest rate since September 2005, making it the third consecutive rise this year. What are the factors fueling this inflationary pressure despite tightening monetary policy by the Central Bank of Nigeria? Well, this and many other burning economic issues will form conversations in the first part of the show today. Plus, Nigeria's capital importation declined sharply for six straight years as the country lost $5.33 billion in foreign direct investment due to foreign exchange volatility. A challenging operating environment despite the economic diversification drive by the federal government. So we ask, what is responsible for this loss? And of course, in the big question, we will be asking our guests who will be joining us later uh, in the conversation. And to the equities markets now, Nigerian Exchange Group recorded a 2.08% loss during the week as the all share index depreciated by 2.08% in the week ended 14th april 2 uh, 2023 and finally on the program today oil prices were steady amid expectations of tighter crude supply following opec plus production cuts with brand trading 0.05 percent lower at 86 dollars 27 cent a barrel well this and many more are some of the highlights on the show today so let's take a moment We'll be right back with some of the top business headlines today. This is Business Breakfast. Please stay with us.